Hello, I'm John McAllister with the McAllister Scouting Report. Today on Around the State, we're going to talk with Andrew Bruce, who plays cornerback and slot receiver for Chardon High School, who won the state championship last year in football, I think Division Three, I think. But I talked to him before. I watched him at Indianapolis at the Combine out there. And I just like the way he plays. He plays three sports, I know. So he's a busy, busy man. But he's going to take time to talk to us today on my podcast. So please sit back and enjoy my video podcast with Andrew Bruce from Chardon High School. Today as my guest, I have a young man from Chardon High School, 5'11", 170 pound, plays corner, and a, and I'm excited to have him on here. And uh, Andrew Bruce, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Good. Okay, I've been reading about you a little bit, and the first question I got to ask you is, you're playing three sports. Yeah. Okay. A lot of guys don't do that. And you're playing three sports at a good school. Okay. Tell me, how do you make it work? I mean, it is, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard. I mean, I got to work in my swings with basketball. I mean, baseball, Jesus. I got to work in my swings with baseball right now. I got to get my lifts in. I mean, we already started football since basketball. So I got to work that in workouts every Friday morning. Weekends are optional, lifts three days a week. So, what do you play in baseball? Uh, center field. Okay, you can run, right? Yeah. You better be able to. Okay, that's really good. Center field. What, what, what are you batting right now? Uh, I'm not batting right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get the cage, need some more cuts. Okay, that sounds good. Tell me, do you, do you encourage? People to play at least two sports? Yeah, I would say two sports is definitely, like, a great bar to be at. I mean, mine three is kind of above and beyond, but I've been thinking to myself, me and my family have also been talking, if I want to pursue football at the next level, I'm going to have to eventually free up some more time for me to be able to improve my skill set. So in the next year or so, I will probably be dropping one of my sports, sadly, but it's only going to make me better in the sport I want to play at college in. Right. I, you almost have to. Yeah. You almost have to, unless you're like a big offensive lineman or something like that. You play mm -hmm. the first base and, and you're playing the, you know, five in basketball. But yeah. two sports is good. Two sports is good. And, you know, more and more, as you know, Andrew, you just got to be strong. Yeah. You just can't, you know, they're going to make you stronger in college, but you just have to be strong. Well, why football? We're talking about football now. Why football? What, um, what makes football so interesting to you? Uh, I don't – I mean, I guess since – I mean, God put me in this great football town. You know, I've played since, I don't know, maybe I was like five or so. Since I was a little tiny kid, it's always been a sport I loved, always a sport I played, I watched on TV. I mean, I love my other two sports, but football's I don't know, it's just – God's sport, I guess. That's okay. Just what anybody along the way kind of been pushing you a little bit and kind of encouraging you a little bit and kind of been there for you? Uh, definitely my dad and my family. And my no, family. I don't believe that. Not your dad. <laughs> uh, no, my I'm coaches. Sure. I mean, our head coach, Mitch Hewitt, I mean, I've played with his son for since youth football. So I've always known them, been excited to come up to the varsity level. It's been a nice going well, so far. Really good. Okay. And football is a team sport. What do you like about football now? Now, you talked about why you play. What do you like? What's the best thing about football? I would have to say, at least for us in our program, I mean, just the, I don't know, the culture of it. I mean, we get the 
be with each other all the time. I mean, we're like a true brotherhood. We've known each other since oh, basically, yeah, like when we started playing football at like right. five years old. I mean, we all grown up and now we're all playing on the field together at the highest it's level. Great, in high school. great team sport, isn't it? Yes. Great team sport. And I think that's what you're kind of talking about without saying team sport, but that's good. Okay. What my first silly question, okay, if you could hang out with uh, anybody, really a sports personality, if you could hang out one whole day, who would it be? Uh, it's probably out of the blue, but probably Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning? No, I'm I've, I've, I've always, I, ever since I was a little bandwagon when I was probably 10, and the Broncos went to the Super Bowl with Peyton Manning, I've always been a Peyton Manning fanatic. I just love how he, he played the game. He gets it done, doesn't he? Yes. Tremendous competitor, smart, and he, he used to get it done. I'm sure he does now, but when he yeah. was playing, he got it done. Okay, what are words that you live by, Andrew? This is a question. It's almost like, for me, you know, I've got a poster. I've got signs up here. Believe there is a good in the world and be the good. Uh, work hard. And even at 73, I'm driven to be trying to be the best I can be. What what are you words you live by? Uh, definitely like one of them being like faith. Like I just got, I mean, I just have faith in myself and like trust the process that wherever I'm going with football, that it will end out how I expect it to be. And if I just keep working, that I can get to wherever I want to be at. Okay. Anything else? Uh, probably God. I mean, God's always been talking about through our program. I mean, myself. I mean, I just think he's really just blessed me. Good. Situation. Good. Okay. Let's talk about you playing corner, right? Yes. And I would tell you this right now, that you play better in a football uniform than you do in shorts and T-shirt. Yeah. Now, I don't know, but, but I watched your highlight film. I've seen it twice now. Just – Oh, a couple hours ago, three hours ago, and you you do really well in that. But tell me, what do you think your strengths are at corner? Uh, are you know, you're playing slot or wide receiver or wing or whatever they call them now, but really you're a corner, okay? Because, you know, I believe that, by the way. You probably don't. You want to catch the ball and run. But yeah, uh, <laughs> corners are hard to find, okay? So – what what's your strength? Let's just go football player then. What's your strength? I think just kind of like up here, you know, I'm kind of expecting them to, you know, give me a streak and then just cut it off into a little comeback or a little curl. I mean, I say probably probably my footwork. Well, I'm sorry, as a football player, not your best play. What well, overall as a football player? I mean, you you're strong enough. You work on your quickness, your speed. You know, you can catch the football, things like that. Like I would tell you, okay. I mean, I would tell you your strengths to me are one that you have a, a really good ability of breaking up the pass. Yeah, knocking the ball down and getting in the receiver's body and, and with your hand and knocking the. I think that's a a strength that you have. And I think you recover pretty well. You've got to work on your hips a little bit. You got to, everybody does corners. You got to be able to flip them a little bit. And then your initial quickness you got him coming out of the corner. Now as a running back or a ball carrier, you have vision and you have kind of deceptive quickness going through the line of scrimmage. I mean, you know, it's just not a blow, big, big bird, but you just are solid. Yeah. But go back to defensive back. And I think the other thing is that you pursue and tackle. Now, some guys pursue and never get there. But I'm being sarcastic. I mean, they don't get, they don't make the tackle. Yeah. You make the tackle, which is good. That's what I was looking for. Okay. What do you have to improve on? I think I told you that. And the other one, Oh, and hips and things like that. And maybe a little more swag. Okay. A little bit more. I don't want you to go nuts. Yeah. I have a little bit more. And you do. Again, you, I think you did in some of the games I saw. You know, you show, but you got to have a little more of that. Okay. Now, what do you think your strengths are? Um, 
Definitely my yeah, athleticism. I feel like that's there. I mean, I've always sports man. Yeah. You better have that. Yeah. 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 Uh, the speed. I mean, I've always been fast since a little kid. So, I mean, it's kind of just burned into me. Now, don't lie to me. What did you run at the Browns camp? Uh, I still don't know. They still oh. haven't posted. I, I, I know. I'm okay. What's your now. best forty time? Uh, uh, four four five zero oh, at the okay. best Midwest. Okay. Oh, you ran that out there? Yeah. Okay. Was that handheld or electronic? Hand. I haven't yeah. done an electric one. Yeah, I that's still, that too. yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, what do you have to work on then? Uh, I'd say probably my, I think I could be a little more physical, not too excessively, but just a little more just to make sure like, I don't know. I just think it's a good trait to have, especially when you strength go versus will, bigger. Strength will help you there, won't it? Yeah. Also, yeah. probably my uh, – um, definitely my eyes because sometimes, you know, if you're in the trail technique and you take your eyes off your receiver, it's basically over because they're just going to catch the ball and your perception, you're going to be way off. So definitely my eyes when I'm covering. And then I, I like my press man, but I also think I can improve. Be patient a little more. It's definitely a good yeah. thing I got to work on. Yeah, it sounds good. And you're on both sides of the ball mm-hmm. in games, so that's good. You're always, you know, so you get an idea of what the other the defense is like. In fact, yeah, that's good. Okay, is is the classroom? Is that a, like a foreign lang- or uh, excuse me? Is that a foreign country to you or not? The going to classes. I'm being no. sarcastic. You got grades pretty good. Yeah, I got a, a three nine three cumulative GPA. So I think okay. So. Tell your football coach that I know, coach. You, tell him that that's your school, of Chardon. So that's an easy school to go through, right? Yeah, like, it's not. It's not too hard. <laughs> I'm joking with you again. <laughs> yeah, but that's really great. What do you think you'll do ten years from now? Um, I mean, football has always been my ideal plan, but you know. I mean, you always got to have a backup plan. So I plan on going to college for some type of engineering, hopefully get a four-year degree. So that, That's really super. That's really good. Okay. we talk, Now, a couple other tough ones, really not, not fun ones. Is there been a time you're going into your junior year? So I usually ask seniors this. Has there been a time where you just stepped it up, where you just said, hey, I've either got to there are like a lot of slang things to say. I, I got to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got to get my head out of my behind and go. Is there any, Has there been a time like that for you? Uh, I'd say maybe like one or two. One of them was definitely the state game when we were playing in that back in December. You know, I was, <laughs> for some reason, I'd always cramp in my calves. Okay. Like just about every game. Drink water, man. Drink water. Go ahead. <laughs> well, we were – I ran the ball with, like, like about – on the final drive we scored for – I ran it, like, two minutes-ish or left or something. And I get back to the auto, and they're saying, let's go. You're going – you're getting it again. And I was like, I, I can't run anymore right now. I'm going to I'm gonna fall on the ground and start cramping. So I started telling coach I need to come out, and I kept yeah. saying I can't play anymore. And then I sucked it up, and I got back in there for the last drive on defense. And then that's – that's not- that makes me happy. Good. Okay. And I call this the scrapbook moment. Has there ever been a ta- a play or something that you remember? Now you're you're young, yeah. But in your first two years, and or is there anything that you remember? A great play or something that you did? Um, I can name a few, but I mean, I'd say there's probably two right now. Uh, one was there's Riverside. Oh, which one? Uh, I one uh versus East Lake North. So I was talking to my buddy Keaton Zingerfish for the game and uh he was telling me you gotta you gotta just lay someone out, all right? And I was like, Yeah, because I haven't I haven't really done that yet this year. So and we are already skiing for this team, so we were we were ready. And they run a little bubble screen, and I was in a cover two in the flat, so I was expecting it, and I just jumped them and I laid him out right as he caught the ball. That's on your highlights, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's on your highlight video. Yeah. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Now you're coming out, you're going into your junior year and this year, a freshman, 
you see a freshman this in August kind of dragging, kind of blah, you know, what do you tell him? What do you tell him as a junior? Um, I'd probably just say, I mean, stick to it. If you, if you really want to play football and you put the work in, I mean, you obviously, if you think you want to be there, you got to, I mean, you can't just go to practice and that be it, or just do not go to optional things. Or, I mean, if he wants to be there, he's going to have to put the work in. And that's probably what I tell him. Well, he's dragging. So, you uh, and you just tell him that keep putting the work in because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And plus, I mean, as a freshman, I mean, you really don't know how you you can change in a year. You could grow right. four inches, five, but you can gain 20 pounds. You can. That's great. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Now another silly question. Okay. <laughs> What's one talent that you don't have, you will, you, you don't have, and you never will get, you want it, but you don't have it and you never will get it. Oh, oh. You put me on the spot. Um, I don't know if this is a very good one, but I just thought about this right now. Uh, when I'm at baseball all the time, you get the double bubble, you put it in your mouth, you flatten it out, and then you can blow big bubbles. I okay. I just I just could never do it. I tried the whole game, and I couldn't do it. They were all telling me what was wrong, and I said, I just can't. I can't push my tongue through it. It just doesn't work. And they all make it. <laughs> so well, well, well. maybe you'll get that. Okay. Maybe, maybe yeah, maybe. That this is these always go so fast for me. Okay. Tell me what's the worst thing about playing football? Um I could say probably a lot of people agree with me, but at least for me and my program, but we do the two days and they start in August and <laughs> those are and same thing with – we do some workouts that I'm sure a lot of other teams do not do, and they are, they are something else. It really well, now, let me think here. I think – didn't you guys win the state championship last year? Yeah, we won last year in the year before. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm joking with you. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, must, yeah. that hard work must pay off. Yeah. yeah. It must pay off. I think that's okay. the reason. Two more questions. Energy is huge, Okay. You know, and we all have to have it in different ways, but energy. What energy do you bring to your football team? What kind of energy do you bring? Um, I think just positive energy the whole time. I mean, even if we're losing or if I make myself, which has happened, or other teammates just make a bad play. I mean, just like our coaches say, like, if they score, they score. I mean – it's it, it sucks, but I mean the game's not over unless I mean it is the last drive. But so you bring a positive positiveness to it. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, and I I ask you that now. I'm going to come and recruit you. Why would I go to Shard? And it's going to take me about two and a half hours, probably. Okay, now I've been there before, by the way. Tell me. What's the best quality that you can show me? What's the best quality? And as a recruit, don't tell me about, you know, being a backpedaling and open, you know, what's the best quality that you have? Um, from, I don't, I'm talking about personality. Okay. Um, mm, dang. You're having to think about it, one of your best qualities? Yeah, I'm kind of blanking. Um, I mean, honesty, loyalty, uh, sincerity, trustworthy. Definitely, yeah, trustworthy. Definitely trustworthy. And if I, if you came and stayed at my house all weekend and, I, and nobody's there except you, can I trust you? Yeah. You're not going to tear my house up, are you? Like no. A party or anything like that? No. Okay, that sounds really good. Uh, I I really appreciate you being on. I think your your ceiling's high. I think you've got to step it up a little bit yeah. size wise, and you know that. I mean, yeah. you've worked hard at it. You went clear out to Indianapolis, so you must want to be good. You must want to get that, and uh, that's really good. I appreciate you being on my video podcast, and look forward to seeing you. This oh, you have a great day. Thank and you. I really appreciate 
being on my show. Okay. Thank you. Take care, man.